Hi, and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name's Ashley, and today I'm bringing you a really fun video of how I gave my living room a little mini refresh before I decorate it for Christmas by using a product that I love and I know you'll love too. My fireplace went from drab to fab. If you want to see this huge transformation, stay tuned. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Life with Ash. This channel is a more behind the scenes vlog style channel filled with mama life, mama hacks, cleaning, organizing, hauls, shopping, decluttering, decorating, and even more fun. That channel is all about real life. My hair is always in a messy bun. I live in leggings. I rarely ever wear makeup and I'm just trying to get through this thing called life. So if you can relate to any of that, jump down to the description box below and click the link to my other channel, Life with Ash, and come hang out with me over there. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. If you love what you see, I would love for you to come hang out with me more often. Let's make my living room nice, warm, and cozy for the holidays. Hello, my name is Ashley, and I am so excited to start on this little living room refresh. I also wanted to thank Kamami Decor for sponsoring a portion of today's videos. We are going to use their awesome peel and stick wall tiles to do my fireplace. I did this in my laundry room and absolutely loved it. So when they offered to send me more, I gladly accepted more on them in just a little bit. We're also going to put a shelf over my couch because of course I have a ton of decor and I need a shelf to put it on. And I'm gonna take you through the process of how I made the shelf for over at my couch. And then we're also going to kind of rearrange the toys in this room. We don't have a ton, but we're gonna kind of come up with a system to make it a little bit more functional because because normally we just throw them right in the pack and play, but the pack and play has got to go so our tree can come in. So we have a lot to do today, but if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can catch even more fun. Turn on those notifications so you're notified when I upload that video. So we have a lot to do today. I don't want to wait any longer. I'm excited, so let's get to work. So this is my fireplace and my mantle and I love I love it but I just felt like it just needed something. So I turned to my friends over at Kamami Decor. I used their 3D wall tiles to redo my laundry room last year. So I thought that this would be perfect to do to my living room fireplace. So this is their website. They do have a huge Christmas sale going on right now on the peel and stick wall tile and they have a variety of different options you can choose from. They also have 3D stone peel and stick wall tiles and a bunch of different options, wood wall tiles, ceramic wall tiles, marble wall tiles. Now, the tiles that they sent me was this product right here, the 3D whitewash faux brick peel and stick wall tile. The one next to it is what they sent me for my laundry room. So I'm gonna take you through the process today to show you how easy it is to apply these wall wall tiles. But first, I just wanted to show you some of the designs and styles that they do carry. And whether your look is more modern or elegant or rustic like mine, I know there is something for everyone. I promise you these tiles will not disappoint. So if you are interested in making over one of your walls in your home, I will have the link in the description box. And don't forget about their big Christmas sale going on now. So the first thing you want to do is wipe down your surface. So my mom here, she decided to come over because she wanted to see this, how this all worked and help me out. And so she is just taking some Dawn and some water and just wiping the entire surface down. And then she's going to wipe it off. And then we let it dry completely before we started adding the wall tiles. So here they are in person, and right now that coloring is perfect. However, when I put it up, there was kind of a pinkish hue to it. So just keep in mind that the color might vary and may look different from how it does on the website. So one thing I will say is that these are sticky. I would not recommend putting this on the wall unless when you're ready to take them down, if you ever do, you're going to want to paint the wall. This will rip off the paint. However, that's a good thing because they're not going to fall off. So it's so simple. You just peel off the back 
Now I started in a corner and I just lined it up to the top and then lined those little pieces off to the side where the corner is. Now, very, very, very important. You want to make sure to line this first one up perfectly because if you line this up even a little bit off, it'll throw the whole wall off. So just keep that in mind. Now you can see that I am unsticking it and re-pushing it down. And I have to say, it was easy for it to lift up and really did not rip off a ton of paint. So I guess you could kind of do some patchwork work if you ever take these down, but I, I don't think I'm ever going to take these down. <laughs> I love how they look. So it's so simple. You want to make sure, of course, to wipe out all of the little bubbles. Now, they are 3D, so there are going to be bubbles in the bricks themselves. That's what makes it 3D. And then I took this tool right here and just used that to go in between each one of the bricks to make sure that it's properly pushed down. Now, they do actually send you a little tool to do this. I just did not find it until about halfway through but I'll show you what it looks like in just a little bit. So I just did this top row first, and after I have the top row done, I went down. Now you wanna start on the same side that you ended. That way, when the bricks line up, they line up how they are supposed to. So like I said, this was super easy. You want to go very, very slow. Obviously, this is sped up a lot, but I really took my time and went slow. And I learned that from doing my laundry room because some of those overlap and I think it's because I was off a little bit. So I kept that in mind and I triple checked my piece before I pushed it down to make sure that it was properly lined up. But look how nice this is looking already. I wanna know what you think about this brick. I just think it is so neat. I do just want to take an opportunity to introduce myself and welcome you to my YouTube channel. Like I said earlier, my name is Ashley. I'm a wife and a mom of two, a almost 14 month old and a six year old. And if you love all things home decor and DIYs, this is the channel for you. Every once in a while, I do throw these types of videos where I do a room refresh or a room makeover on this channel too. But if you want a behind the scenes look, definitely check out the other channel I talked about earlier, Life with Ash. I am trying to build that one like I did this one. And my goal is to reach a thousand subscribers on that channel before the new year. And I am so close. So it would be much appreciated if you would jump down to the description box below and click the link to that channel and check it out. You may love it. Don't forget that after this video, I will be decorating my living room for Christmas and then we're jumping into the dining room and we are going vintage, my friends. So turn on those notifications because you're not going to want to miss it. All right, for working around the mantle, I chose not to take the mantle off. I was just gonna work around it. So my mom and I just dry fit the tile onto the wall and then we just cut off what we didn't need and that was super easy. We just used a very sharp knife and that is one thing you definitely do wanna use is a very sharp knife. And then it was easy for me just to slip down behind the mantle. Now luckily there is a small little gap that I was able to slip it behind and then I, that's what we did to complete the top part of the mantle. Now don't worry about any of those empty spaces. I'm going to show you how to fill those in just a little bit. But again, you wanna take that tool and go in between all of the bricks to make sure that each panel is properly and strongly adhered to your wall. All right, once I completed this row of bricks, I'm gonna just take the scraps that we just cut off and I'm going to measure to start filling in those gaps on the side. Now you can see that they fit perfectly. You just may have to make a few cuts. And then what I did was I went ahead and applied it to the wall and then I took a straight edge and that very, very sharp knife and I cut off the corner. Now I did this for a few pieces for now, but at the end when I'm done covering the entire fireplace, I will go back and fill in all of those missing bricks. But it was very, very simple and actually the filling in part took the shortest amount of time to do. So it was very simple and it was kind of fun too. It was like putting together a puzzle. 
Side note, I do want to apologize about my voice. I woke up with the worst allergies this morning and my nose has not stopped running and my voice sounded like this. So I apologize. Of course, it had to be on the day that I needed to do a voiceover, but eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> So for the pieces underneath the mantle, I went ahead and just cut off those extra bricks that kind of hang over to make one straight line. Then I'm just going to start applying it down. Now I only did this one right here and then I'm going to work my way across the top of the actual fireplace. Now some of the bricks did go over that wood paneling around the fireplace or the frame. So again, I just took my really sharp knife and I am just carefully cutting around that wood frame of the fireplace. Now it's time to go ahead and brick the top of that frame. So what we did again was just dry cut the pieces first and then we cut them out. Oh, and there it is. There is that tool that I said that the company does send with the wall tire, tile bricks and I had found it at this point. And this was so much easier because it's smaller and I definitely made sure to go in between all of the brick and push it all down. So now I'm just going to complete the top of this fireplace frame over here, and then I'm going to move down to the other side. Okay, now that I have the majority of the fireplace covered, I am just going to take all of the scraps that I had from all of the cuts I made and just start putting this together like a puzzle, like I stated before. And this part, like I said, was kind of fun and it took me no time at all. And I have to say, it's kind of satisfying to watch too. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Ooh, I love it. 
Now, I'm here to give you my honest reviews. The coloring is not exact. And, like, I think I am going to trim it out. I might. My mom mentioned doing that. I at first was like, no, but I might. But I do need to, like, cut, go through and, like, really even it out. This is the corner, but look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I want to know your thoughts. Okay, I just threw this on for now. Oh, instant coziness, let me tell you. Warm. Okay, now I have to clean up my mess. Oh, and just for reference, I don't remember exactly how much, hopefully I voice over it, how big that fireplace was, but I have one more of these in a whole nother pack. So I have plenty if I need scraps, and I'm going to keep some just in case, like some kind of pull off or something, but oh my gosh. Okay, so now that the fireplace is done, let's move on to the shelf over my couch. Okay, so here is the beautiful piece of wood. Look at all that distressing. I didn't even do anything to this. So what I'm going to do is put wood conditioner on it and let that dry, and then I will come in with the actual stain. This is the pre Minwax pre-stain. I got it from Lowe's. I'm doing the exact same process that I did on my coffee bar shelves. So, you know, if you loved those, then this is how I did it. All right, let's get to work. I'm actually going to pour some in a cup so that way my brush can get in. I'm not gonna do a lot. I'm just gonna use a foam brush. Now, the trick is you wanna do nice, even strokes with the grain, you want to go with the grain, and then you try not brush over what you did. So don't, you know, you want to keep it consistent, but you want, don't layer it is what I'm trying to get at, I guess. I don't think I mentioned it, but I actually bought this wood just how it is at the Home Depot for $3.98. You can't beat that. So there we go. There is the pre-stain, so I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back and start staining. Okay, so here's what the board looks like after the conditioner dried. Now this is the back. I did flip it and already did the back. So, and I did wipe it down. That's just, I don't know what that is. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and stain it. Okay, now for the stain, I'm using uh, Min Minwax Dark Walnut. This is the exact same thing I used on my coffee bar. So let's go ahead and try this. Now, I'm going to recommend using gloves because I don't want to let anyone lead anyone in the wrong direction. I just don't have any, and I'm really trying to get this done. So I ain't got time for that. But, of course, take all safety precautions, always. Now this stain might be a little too dark for some people, but I've always liked the darker wood. Plus this shelf is going to be along the same side as my coffee bar shelves, so I want it, it to all match. Okay, look how beautiful. So I think on the coffee bar, I did like three coats. However, or on the shelves, I did three coats. However, I think I might just let it stay like this. Like why do I have to wipe it off? Okay, listen, I'm not here. This is not a how-to video. I'm just showing you my process. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so there's the top part. And of course, when this dries, I'll flip it and do the bottom. So we'll see what it looks like. Now to go along with the shelf over my couch, I have these sconces, and I bought these a while ago at Hobby Lobby on super clearance for $6.24 each. And I love the white wood distressing around, you know, the wood, but I did not like that gray color. So I just thought I'd paint it. So this is just regular black acrylic paint. This is all I had. And so far it's holding up good. It's not like people are going to be touching it or there's going to be a lot of, you know, things on it to scrape it or anything. So I think this will work just fine. But that just goes to show you if there's something about a piece that you don't like, paint is always the answer. <laughs> yeah. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake. 
So after my shelf was all done drying, it's time to hang it. I ordered these brackets off of Amazon. They actually came in a four pack, so I have two more left if I ever need to hang anything else. So my handy helper and I, my husband, uh, we are just going to work together to go ahead and put this shelf up. This went on super easy. The, um, the brackets came with the hardware. I can put the link in the description box below if that's something you are interested in. But my husband and I just worked during the Browns game that he had to watch while we did this. So excuse the lighting. That's the TV. <laughs> and we worked together to put this up. No, but tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more because I don't feel the need no more. No, just want to make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go Now that we have the shelf hung, I'm going to take the sconces that are now dry and I am just going to mark where I am going to put them and then just simple, simply use a small little nail and a hammer. And that's it. Let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget Now, I had some black paint left over from painting the sconces, so I went ahead and painted over the screws. Good morning! Okay, it is the next day. We got our shelf done, the bricks are done, so now it's time to do finishing touches in the living room before we decorate it for Christmas. Now, look at all these toys. Typically, I just put them in the pack and play uh, just to keep them, but the pack and play is actually leaving this room. So I can put the tree up. Also, don't mind my appearance. It's early and I want to get this done. I ran to Home Goods and I got this little basket here. It is soft. It is cloth. I don't, actually, I don't know what it is, but it is soft. Yeah, it's not like, I don't know. Oh, but she has the right idea. She put her toys in here. Now it's small. I want it to. I want to be able to stick it underneath one of the end tables. It is small. <laughs> But that's the point. I don't want there to be a lot in here. So all of the big things we're going to go put in the playroom or in her room. And all of the little things we're going to put right in this little basket. But I wanted her to be able to pull this out, drag it out whenever she wanted her toys. So that way it wasn't so hard for her. So let's get to work and um, kind of just split up all the toys. And then we can go from there. Clean up. This part is actually pretty hilarious, and you're going to see why in just a little bit. But my little helper here is somewhat helping me organize her toys. I really should have done this during your nap time. You keep pulling everything out. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, it's gonna go for the baby. <gasps> Who is that? Is that the baby? Hi, baby. Is that Charlotte? Yep, that little stinker turned off the camera and I didn't even know it. I guess that's the end of that portion of the video. So let's go ahead and do the final reveal. I wanna give you a million things Cause isn't love what it's all about And how to make you smile again Something that I wanna figure out I wanna catch, I wanna catch you Like every time that you fall I wanna give you the world 
world that is outside you walls If I was God, I would say Take you where you belonged If I could, I would get Something new, something new Then I would have what it takes Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some Someone like you, someone like you Okay, well, that's it. That completes this little living room refresh. We really didn't do much, but I think the two major things we did added so much warmth and coziness to this room, which is exactly what I wanted. I wanna thank Kamami Decor again for sponsoring today's video and sending me all of those wonderful 3D wall tiles. If you love the look of this, you should definitely check it out online. I'm telling you, I am obsessed and I cannot wait to decorate my mantle for Christmas and all year round. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications because I'm about to go downstairs and bring up my tree and all the decor and you're not going to want to miss my next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.